I ha- had like a really big crush on one of my close friends. Um, and it, so it was liking her, but also feeling like um, the guilt and the shame and the embarrassment. Like I felt a lot of disgust about myself. Like what if she knew? What if other people knew how I felt? Um, and um, so, yeah, that that's when it really got hard. And How did you deal with that? Um, did you deal with it? Yeah, I mean, I did. I'm, I haven't, like, thought about some of it in a really long time. I mean, I, one of the ways that I dealt with it is I was constantly in therapy. Like, throughout undergrad at NC State, I saw seven different therapists, um, all in an attempt to try and, like, fix me, to ch- help, help change my attractions, um, to make my relationships healthier. What kind of things did they ask you to do or tell you to do? I mean, a lot of it, well, there was a lot of assumptions. They either assumed that I had like an unhealthy relationship with one of my parents and they were trying to figure that out. Sometimes they would, they were convinced that I had been abused as a child and they wanted, they thought that I wasn't admitting something. Um, and then other times it was more so like any, you know, they just, any time that they said I felt an attraction to a female or a woman, I needed to immediately like cut it off, be very serious about it. And so um, this one person that I had feelings for was one of my really good friends, but they told me like, you have to stop talking to her. Like you shouldn't be around her anymore. Um, and that was really difficult because I'm already grieving, like leaving home and transitioning to college. I had these natural feelings that I don't really want to have, but I can't they're there and then on top of that I'm so I'm feeling like guilt and shame but then on top of that I'm needing to cut off this you know cut off this friendship it was just uh, like a cycle of um, disappointment and shame trying to fix myself nothing changing it leading to further loneliness and kind of despair Um, throughout like my sophomore year at NC State, I was supposed to go on a spring break trip with our campus ministry, and I was advised to go home because they were afraid of me harming myself. And I was on multiple medications just to even like help me get through the day. I spent so many nights driving around Raleigh, just in my car, screaming at God, crying, like, this isn't fair. Like, why did you make me this way? And why did you make me deal with this? All I wanna do is make you happy, you know? and share your love with other people, spread the gospel, but I can't change. Like nothing's working. Cause I, I think, you know, when I was younger, I thought, oh, there's time. There will be a different end to this story. And then 18, 19, 20, this is when like you're beginning your journey of adulthood and nothing's changing. Um, and I just had no idea what like my future was going to hold. Like I couldn't imagine doing this for 50 years, living my life this way.